Hey everyone, this is Sarvan again with GameTextures.com and in the last tutorial we just simply turned on the experimental feature material layers. In this one we're going to set up a basic material for you to start applying layers to objects in your, your game projects. So what you'll notice by default is that we cannot apply these material layers directly to a mesh or an object or you know a BSP, CSG type object. right? just doesn't work. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to create an actual material to hold our material layers. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over to the material folder. We're going to right click and create a new material. And we're going to name this material material template. So our basic material, basic layered material. Actually, that's probably a better name for it. So let's go ahead and pop the basic layered material on uh, open. And what we'll need to do is our output section here. We're going to need to switch it to accept material attributes. What that means is it condenses all of these channels into a single channel. That's the material attribute. What we're also going to do is to this material attributes, we're going to plug in a layered material. So right here, this material attribute layers, we're going to call this layer stack. It doesn't matter what you call it really, but, and then we're just going to plug that in. That's it. It's pretty simple, easy peasy. It's saved. Close it. All right, and from here we can start instantiating our basic layered material. Material. So let's right click it and we'll say create a material instance. Let's create one that's going to hold this alien brick wall layer and we'll type in alien brick wall. Let's double click it. And what you'll notice here is under layered par parameters, we can now add a layer asset. Basically, instead of whereas before, for each instance, we would add in each texture one at a time, it can now hold an entire material layer. So if we click this drop down and typed in alien brick wall, which is right here, we don't even have to type it in, and just click it. What it'll do is it'll hold every single, it'll transfer every single texture channel in this material, or sorry, in this material layer to the actual material. Right. We can easily swap it to a different one. And again, we're no longer having to pick each individual channel to plug into this material instance. I'll go ahead and hit save. I'll close it. And now, as you can see from this point, we can easily drag and drop this to a 3D object and apply it. That's it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next tutorial.